Hey, what's happening, everyone? Jenny Man here, and welcome back to Diamonds Are Forever. Today is episode 10 and the final episode of season 01 in charge of Rushton and Diamonds here on my Championship Manager 0102 playthrough. So, um, three episodes left to go, so three games to go in this um, season Lincoln, Darlington, and Bristol Rovers. Obviously, we've already wrapped up the uh, league, as you can see, we're on 99 points. So, my next goal is obviously to get to that 100 point mark. Um, obviously, it's been a wonderful campaign for us. Obviously, scoring tons of goals, as you can see, 122, and uh, goals from everywhere. To be honest with you, it's not just been one role, uh, one role player in there. It's been pretty much everyone gets in, everyone gets in the goals. As you can see, um, a lot of players contributing. We have six players who have above 10 goals this season. So, overall, it's been a wonderful campaign, and uh, I'm looking forward to wrapping it up and looking forward to prepare for next season in Division Two. So. First and foremost, we take on Lincoln here, away from home. Let's get it going. Uh, Lincoln City, where are they in the league table? Lincoln are currently just outside of the playoffs. They're still chasing the playoffs, so they're going to be taking this game seriously, even if we're not. Um, Miles straight from the kickoff, though. Adam Pardlock makes it 1-0. So a pretty good start to the uh, the game for us. Um, I'm taking a look at the uh, Lincoln side here. Just trying to see if anyone stands out to me. Lee Thorpe is a player that I've had my eye on in previous Championship Manager games. Never actually managed to sign him. He's done well this season, by the way, too. Uh, notched up 24 goals, so he's had a good campaign. Um, Alan Marriott is a solid goalkeeper, too, um, despite what his attributes look like. Um, he's, a, he's a decent goalkeeper. And apart from that, that's really all I have to say there. Lee Thorpe get the goal there on the uh, eve of halftime. All right, so second half here. Again, we're just one point away now from our next goal, which is 100. But we're going to have to come from behind. Sedgemore gets a goal and gives uh, Lincoln the lead. And Hasmanovic equalizes one minute later. All right, so uh, changes. Obviously, our back line aren't doing very well today. Everyone's got a 6 out of 10 thus far, which means I might make a change back there. I'm going to bring off UC, going to bring off Andy Todd. Um, any other changes I could make? No, I'll keep it as is. Apart from that. Um, defensive change. Holmes gets a goal. It's 3-2. Steve Holmes. We've still got time here to get a winner. Or an equalizer, I should say. I'm going to push Bjornsson forward here. That's usually what I do when I'm struggling. I push the uh, center midfielder of the three forward. But uh, it didn't pay off for me this time. And it's a defeat. That's our first defeat, I think. Um... I think it's been since, I want to say, yeah, it's our first defeat in the league at least since December, I want to say, December 26th against Kiddersminster. Yeah, I think that was our last defeat in the league. Uh, obviously, been defeated a couple times in the cup competitions, but uh, an impressive uh, run, unfortunately, has come to an end here. So I'll wait for 100 points. It's going to have to wait at least one more game. Oh, I got weirded out for a second there. Um, it said Bellamy was appointed by Cardiff, and my initial thought was obviously you're thinking about Craig Bellamy, but uh, actually it's Gary Bellamy. I don't know really anything about this guy. Um, but yeah, I've just, that was kind of a weird moment. All right, on to the next game now against Darlington. Um, obviously, um, hoping, hoping we can... Uh, put a bit more of an impressive display in this game obviously especially at the back it wasn't that was a good performance from the boys so i'm gonna make some changes um i'm gonna bring in uh, uh, andy todd today uh uc uh will go to the bench so he'll andy todd will partner uh meta uh, midfield the signing's been playing midfield he's been he's been playing actually really well um form of eight and nine and ten since moving to that role so obviously you can do a good job there um, might be a, a future consideration. Um, I'm going to give uh, Lincoln a break today. I'm going to bring in John Cogger, 18-year-old uh, right back. I signed on the free transfer. It was actually one of my first signings for the club. It's a good, good campaign, very solid uh, from an unknown player. Um, any other changes? No, I think that's good. That should be enough to beat Darlington today. So here we go, up against Darlington, um, who are currently towards the bottom of the table. They're 17th. Obviously, they are safe, so they're going to finish mid-table this year. But uh, we should have enough quality behind us to uh, to get a victory and send us over that 100-point mark. All right, speaking of Darlington, let's take a look at the first team real quick. Um, a couple of players I recognize. Jeff Whitley was a player I tried to bring in on loan. Might be able to get him on loan next season. I want to sign him on a permanent basis if I can, but um, his wages might be an issue there. Uh, but he is a talented holding midfielder. 
someone that could definitely um, at least challenge Stephenson for that first team spot. Um, other players, not particularly. Uh, as Church, I'm going to go, by the way, the 1 0 up now. It's got to go on the 40th minute. Uh, anyone else? No, not particularly. I don't think so. Uh, Volta, right back, Angolan. I'm always interested when I see a one name player because, you know, obviously you think about Brazilians and you have to find a uh, rogue quality Brazilian. I'm interested in bringing them in. Um, but Adam Powder get a goal at the 10th of the season for him, 2 0 up. Uh, things are very comfortable for us right now. Um, Dallas only had a couple shots and only one on target. So uh, things are going pretty good. Pretty good for us. Easy peasy. And obviously that puts us over the 100 point mark too. So all in all, everything's going very, very smoothly. Um, let's make a change. 65 minutes. So things are going smoothly. Let's try and mess it up. Uh, let's bring off the sign-in. Uh, bring on Mikhail Hatton. Um, let's bring on Derby for Hazmatovic. And yeah, that's good. I'll do that. Just two changes. I never want to... Um, I never want to take the risk of making all three changes at the same time. Obviously, things can happen. Uh, players get injured, players get sent off, and it kind of leaves us, leaves our hands tied if you make all three changes at the same time. So I try and avoid that if I possibly can. Uh, so 10 minutes to go in this game, and we make it 3-0. I think that's uh, Goodmunda Meta's first goal for the club. Um, not had a great start to his career here. Um, average rating of 6.7. Um, he's definitely more talented than that, and I think after maybe a a preseason with us, he'll be he'll be good to go for next year. All right, so it's going to finish here three and nil, comfortable as you like. Clean sheet and three goals, so pleasing stuff. I mean, past the hundred point mark, by the way. Um, what's the record in the division, by the way? Just just out of interest, take a look at the history records. Uh, most points in a season, all time is us. So we broke the record there, and we also got most team goals too. Um, so that, that's quite an achievement. That's quite an achievement. So we uh, broke the record in points and goals. So yeah, that's awesome. So I really have nothing to play for. Um, I really have nothing to play for at all uh, in the next game. As you notice, by the way, uh, we actually hold the record for most games without losing too. We have uh, 20. Obviously, we lost in the last game, and that was the most... Uh, yeah, 20, 20 games without defeat. That's I didn't know it was that much, to be honest with you. That's actually very impressive. All right, so just uh, one more game left of the season, and then we'll wrap up the episode by talking about what's going to happen next season and uh, just uh, preparing for life in Division 2. All right, so here we go, the final game of the season now, up against the Bristol Rovers away from home. Uh, Bristol Rovers can actually still sneak into the playoffs, so they're going to be uh, they're going to be uh, playing the best players and going to be up for it today, no doubt about it. So uh, Butcher, by the way, is back uh, from injury, um, and uh, Justin Walker is available. So... Um, Vesinen. I'm gonna drop Vesinen though. It is Justin Walker after all. Look at that last five games, all eight out of ten. Um, we're gonna play Vesinen up top, and then we'll put Proudak on the bench. So there you go. That's good to me. And uh, yeah, for the final game, obviously a lot of these guys' contracts are expiring. John Brady's contract is now expired, um, as as Gary Butterworth. Um, I wanted to get John Brady back in, but he just wants too much money, so I'm not really interested. Gary Butterworth is the wrong side of 30 for me. Um, Warburton's gone. All right, so anyway, let's just get it going. Final game of the season. Um, Vasana picks up a knock within 14 minutes, so not a great start for us. For us. Um, so Proudler comes on here. First final game in the Russian shirt. Well, presumably final game. Given the option, I would like to bring him back next year for Division 2 stuff, but uh, we'll have to see. It's difficult to get players back on loan once you had them loan once. All right, so 35 minutes here, and so far it's been absolutely all us. Uh, Bristol Rovers yet to have a shot on goal. And halftime here is nil-nil, so disappointing we haven't really found the back in the net despite our domination. All right, so come on, boys. 55 minutes here. Be a great time to get a goal. Get in there, Bjornsson. That's going to wrap up the uh, Golden Boot Award for Bjornsson there. Now he's got 20 goals in the league and uh, 24 overall. He's almost got a 1-2 and two record from midfield. That's incredible, actually, when you think about it. All right. Ooh, Pradlock almost got himself a goal there. Uh, we're going to be off uh, Churnstone for Butra, and then I'm going to 
put proud luck in midfield instead. Uh, I'm going to play UC of Andy Todd. So there you go. So two minutes have to go in the season. Butcher gets a goal coming off the bench. 15th of the season. It's been a while since he scored a goal. So it's good to see his name on the score sheet. 85 minutes on the clock. Five minutes to go in Division 3. Justin Walker gets himself a goal there. 16th of the season. So a fitting way to end the campaign there. A comfortable 3 0 victory over Bristol Rovers. All right. So there you go. The season has wrapped up here for us. Uh, we're going to go through uh, the division real quick. Um, stage league. All right. So this are the uh, final, final uh, table looks. As you can see, uh, went up as champions of 105 points, uh, broke the records for goals scored and points, and uh, games without losing. Uh, we go up with Oxford and Leighton Orient, and there's a playoffs there for Swansea, Maxford, Hull, and Shrewsbury. Um, Scunthorpe were relegated. Take a look at the uh, second division, who we're going to be playing next next year. So QPR and Wigan went up as champions. Um, Stoke City are in here, as you can see. Um, we've been playing them next season. Uh, who else we got? Big big teams. Huddersfield, of course. We know they went on to play in the, in the uh, Premier League. Um, oh, yeah, geez. I forgot about that. They had uh, Clyde Winyard. Yeah, I remember him. That's a name that uh, sticks with me, as well as uh, Andy Booth up top as well. Big man, target man. Uh, Cardiff City in this uh, division as well with Robbie Earnshaw. Um, I'd be surprised if he stays, actually. Normally a big team buys Robbie Earnshaw. Um, who else in this division? We're not going to be playing Wickham, uh, Bournemouth, Colchester, or Berry. They've been relegated. Uh, Brentford in there, Northampton Town, Swindon. Uh, let's check out the first division. Let's see who got relegated there. Uh, we're playing Sheffield United, Norwich, and Burnley. Three pretty big clubs, actually. Uh, Burnley had an atrocious season, as you can see. Um, only 20 points all season. It conceded 108 goals. Wow. That is a very, very unfortunate unfortunate goals against record there um but yeah so we're playing three big clubs there uh let's take a look at the premier league let's see how this is going to finish so arsenal have uh, won the premier league uh as you can see pretty comfortably as well uh man united and liverpool look like second and third and a distance then off to uh leeds chelsea and then tottenham so the usual suspects in uh, championship manager uh, Leeds, of course, still being a big club at this time, as you can see from the quality of talent they have. Robbie Keane, Harry Kuehl. Um, they signed Darren Anderton, sick note. Uh, I remember during the campaign, actually, I remember pointing that out. Ian Hart, left back. Gary Kelly, uh, Nigel Martin. Some very talented players in there. Mark Viduka, of course, is still around. Um, at the bottom, uh, Fulham, Ipswich have been relegated. And then it's between West Ham and Charlton. Looking most like it's going to be Charlton gets relegated. Uh, Southampton... My favourite Southampton um, survived by the skin of their teeth again. Nothing unusual though. Uh, top goal score in the Premier League. Let's take a look at that real quick. Kevin Phillips uh, so far leading away with 20 goals. Uh, Thierry Henry with 19. Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. And uh, we have uh, Juan Severan, 18 goals. Impressive return for him. Any surprises in here? Not particular. Perhaps even perhaps Malcolm Christie. He was a promising player at one point in his career. He got himself 12 goals on the campaign. Uh, let's look at the player stats for us. So, we, so uh, average rating, uh, we hold five of the top seven spots in the league as far as average rating goes. Walker has Medovic for Sina and Stephenson and uh, Churnstrom with Lee Forp and Chris Greenacre sandwiched in between them. Um, let's take a look at our let's take a look at our stats, shall we, for the team. So most appearances with Bjornsson, Ironman performances from him this season. Got himself 24 goals and 51 appearances, 9 assists, 4 man and match awards. Passing completion rate of 79%, shooting uh, percentage 77%, average rate of 7.61. Wonderful campaign for Haz Medovic. Uh, goal, top goal scorer, Bjornsson, 24 goals for signing, knocked in 22 in uh, 40 games. So a better than 1-2 and two record for him. Uh, same for Haz Medovic, he got himself 17 and 28 appearances. Obviously, I'd like to see Hasmanovic uh, stay fit. If he does, he was probably our best player of the season. Average rating of 7.93 alongside Justin Walker. So we're, with uh, Walker and Beyonce in midfield, we have a really, really good solid midfield. And Churnstrom came in midway through the season and um, played really well, actually, uh, for a left winger playing out of position. He did a, a great job there. Um, let's see. Let's do uh, Man of the Match Awards. Justin Walker got himself nine. Vasani got eight. Hasmanovic got six. Surprisingly, Bjornsson only got four, to be honest with you. 
Um, he was he was just that good all season long. All right, so transfers, players coming in and out of the club. Uh, if you do it by contract here, uh, we'll note, you'll note that there are quite a few players potentially leaving. So obviously Gray has agreed to leave, as has uh, Ray Warburton. Um, John Brady and Butterworth, I'm not going to need their contracts, nor am I Sean or Carey. Uh, Proudluck and Dungeon, who are on loan right now. I would like to bring Adam Proudluck back if I possibly can, um, but it's not looking likely um at this moment in time um everyone else stays uh, i'm tr still trying to sell jean miguel seguer and some of the uh the backup players such as miguel hatton and partridge i'm gonna try and move those guys on in the summer um so players coming into the team obviously we've agreed to sign a few players uh future wise uh one of them is arno gunlarkson who is a forward um can also play in midfield as well uh, icelandic international player just a very talented player bringing him in for the premier league side should do pretty well in division two and uh, then Ramin van der Howe bringing him in as a player coach, uh, primarily as a backup goalkeeper for David Priest, because obviously we sold Billy Turley and uh, Tony Panic and Ronald Thomas aren't quite good enough Division 2. Um, so Ramin van der Howe comes in as a backup. And then we're going to sign this legend, this great, Matt Letizia. Is he over the hill? Yes. Is he overweight? Absolutely. But we're going to sign up a, a, uh, a favorite of mine. He's the reason why I support Southampton. So given the opportunity... I'm, I'm delighted to bring him in for next season. Even though mostly he'll be coming off the bench, he still provides us with a wonderful set-piece option. Um, speaking of, what is... Yeah, 19, yeah, you go. Wonderful set-piece option. Flair of 20. The guy can make the difference. I mean, I'm probably not going to use him more than, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes in a game, um, but still a great option to have on the bench and just delighted to have a legend like Latisse on board. Um, but there you go. Um, that wraps up the season. Obviously, uh, the next episode will be the start of our campaign in Division 2. Um, I would like to see us make the push then into the uh, Division 1. There's no reason with the financial backing this club has uh, that we won't be able to make that jump into Division 1 straight away. But uh, we'll have to see what kind of business we can do in the summer. Obviously, I'm always on the lookout to improve the squad. Uh, let me know in the comments below um, what players should I, should I move on, uh, what uh, players should I, uh, what areas of the squad should I try and improve. Uh, I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say. But um, thanks so much for watching the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you folks at the start of Season 2. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.